I'm going to use this lens, capture some documentary photos, and show you some behind the scenes and what it takes to shoot some photos from a distance. Stay tuned. I've been tasked to shoot some B-roll content. Uh, this is actually for a TV channel for YouTube and they shoot content in-house on green screen and oftentimes they need B-roll. And today I've been tasked to help them shoot some photos of homeless in a distance. I normally work on foot and shoot street photography. Sometimes I go up in close in person, but I have some restrictions today. One, I'm with my daughter. I don't want to take her out in the field and shoot content with her. Two, COVID is still around and lingering and, and, and things can get a little bit tricky. Three, some of the homeless can get aggressive. I've had experience where people have screamed at me, people have come forward at me and to a point where it can get violent. Uh, having gear and going by myself with my daughter is definitely not a good deal. So what I'm using today just to meet some of that uh, necessity, I'm going to use my Vivitar Series 1, which is the 650 to 1300. I'm hoping to get some stills and some maybe some footage out of this and be able to use for b-roll I should be able to capture this within like half a block and I'm going to show you some behind the scenes while I'm on location and then you can see the images behind this now just a heads up this lens is not professionally used for long distances and also this lens tends to come out a little bit more dusty on the inside but because of these b-rolls and there's some layering and some effects to the b-roll you won't even see a little bit of that dust speck without further ado come along and ride with me and i'm going to show you some behind the scenes i'm going to show you this lens in action and let's capture some stories stay tuned for the next part of the video all right we're packed and ready to go we're going to be going out there and documenting the homeless my kids back there like i said on the previous uh, part of this video is uh normally i go out there by myself but because uh, I am taking care of my kids during the day. Um, this is my only chance to make sure I can grab some content in the daylight. In LA, there is lots of homeless encampment. Now, I've shot in Skid Row before and I've had some issues where people would scream at me, hey, take that camera away or get his license plate or whatnot. And I believe they're doing that because there's probably a drug deal that's going down. So unless you're with a law enforcement or a group of people to protect you, I wouldn't go out there shooting homeless uh, because there is issues with drugs out there. So now uh, I'm going to be shooting other encampments that it's not so um, dangerous. This content I'm shooting for is for video that we shot involves an officer in the skid row where he talks a lot about homelessness and the skid row but i'm going to be shooting other encampments not close to skid row but within surrounding areas i'm hoping to get some cool stills out of that and be able to use it on video that's the idea just to kind of encapsulate the whole video piece capturing b-roll so we found one encampment and i am about half a block away and I'm fortunately enough able to park my car uh, directly at it so that way I won't be too obvious and uh, I'm quite further enough so that way in case of any issues I can just drive away. So let me flip the camera so you can see how far my distance is. Okay so we're gonna about to shoot right now. Continuing on I have to recline my chair and uh, because this lens is so long, since I don't use this lens very often, it's uh, it's really tricky trying to use it, trying to get it sharp, and I have to wait for people to kind of do their thing. Otherwise, I'm just shooting randomly. The problem with this lens, it's very difficult to use, and you got to really keep it stable. I would like to use a tripod, but that would make me more obvious uh, going out there and shooting with a tripod look like a, I'm a spy from with this lens. The location is, it's good and bad. Not much action going on.
So I just wrapped up my shoot. I went around for about three hours or so and I was able to get some uh, interesting shots. The advantage of having this long lens is that I am far enough from the subject but also it could be tricky because I have to park in a certain way to be able to capture the subject itself. So I had, because it took me longer to find a good spot, a good subject that has actually has humans involved, not just an encampment, you know, it has to be interesting as far as what, I, uh, what you're capturing. Definitely the most difficult part is the parking. And because I'm shooting from the car, I, I wanna get that perspective, the, the right angle, so that way I don't have to get out or move to another seat. Uh, I am dr the driver. I want to be able to photograph it in front and running gun per se. So I was able to achieve that. Um, the lens is very heavy. It does get tiresome holding it. You have to shoot in a higher shutter speed so that way you get good sharpness. The lens is not the most sharpest lens, but you will come out some decent images out of it. For the piece that we're doing, it's just going to be it's in the background. Uh, it's, it doesn't have to be um, a, a good crisp image, just as long as it's properly exposed and, and a good story. So if you guys have any questions or comment, comment down below. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Peace.